Hello, YouTube. Um, future millionaires, entrepreneurs, and everybody that's watching. Thanks for uh, spending some time with me. I uh, want to do a quick video on how to uh, install your uh, global site um, snippet and your event snippet uh, using uh, uh, conversion snippet and global site snippet uh, using um, Google Ads. Uh, so basically, when you're when you're in your Google Ads, like we are right here, you would just click on Tools, <clears throat> and you go down to uh, Planning. Underneath there, you would go to uh, I'm sorry, no, you want that's Keyword Planner. Uh, you want to go under Measurement, and you want to go under Conversion. And I have a bunch of conversions installed in here. All you gotta do is just hit Add. You would hit the plus button there. And um, you click on website because we want to cover, we want to measure um, the conversion um, on our website. So basically, this one's going to be a lead conversion. You would just go lead and you would just name it to whatever you say free training dash lead dash free free training. And uh, you come down here, and you don't need to use a value for that because all we're doing is just, uh, we're just uh, basically measuring when someone does uh, land on our page and um, and uh, and uh, they take action. So you just click on this here, and you would just want to do just one because you don't want the, if you choose this option here, every time they come back and opt in, it would count them as a new lead, which we don't want to do that. You want to if the same person come back three or four times. It would still be counted as one. And as far as these settings here, conversion window, leave it on 30 days, uh, view through um, uh, conversion window one day, uh, including convert, um, including conversions, yes, and attribute model, last click. All right, all you got to do is just click, and, uh, click uh, create, then uh, continue, and um, come down here. It says install tag yourself. You click on this. Basically, you would take this snippet here. You can download these snippets if you want by pushing this button here. Uh, but this is the your global uh, um, global um, uh, site tag. You would come down here, copy it, and I'm using uh, my uh, my um, I'm using ClickFunnels. So basically, you would just go in your um, whatever funnel it is that you're working with and uh, you would click on settings <clears throat> and you see where it says head tracking head tracking code you want to um, paste that right in there make sure you scroll all the way down and save it I already have mine done okay that take care take care of the global um, site snippet it. This way you can track who's coming to your website and who's um, taking action and all you know just uh, different uh, events and so on and so forth. Um, for the same thing you want to come down here for your event snippet. We just installed global site tag. Now we want to um, install the event tag, event snippet. You would copy this little snippet here and you would go back to your funnel again. What you want to do, this funnel here is two steps. So you want to do, you want to go to the second step. And you want to um, edit. The second step. Sorry about my slow internet here. I have 100 megs, but it's not doing a good job today. I don't know why. Uh, if uh, this uh, had helped you guys at all, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, just leave them below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you guys. It's taking forever to load, to load here. Uh, basically, uh, the channel. There we go. So what you want to do, this is the second. My, my funnel is two pages, two steps. So I'm to the second step. And I edit it. Just hit settings. Go to your uh, tracking code. And what you want to do, you want to put it under the footer. So you would come down here and just take your event snippet. And this, this will tell Google every time somebody 
gets to this page, um, it would be considered a lead because they would put their information, basically they already put their information and they get to this point. So as soon as they get to this page, um, the page will fire, <clears throat> your event um, snippet will fire. And let's Google know that um, that somebody did actually make it to that uh, page. Uh, I'm not going to install any of that stuff because I already have it done. But anyway, uh, one more time, all you got to do is just click on tools, go to um, measurement, go to conversion, conversions, and you just click the plus sign. I got a bunch of um, uh, um, conversions installed. I mean, um, um, what do you call it? Snippet installed, so I don't have to redo it. Anyway, you come down here. What I'm trying to do is monitor a website. So you just click on a website, and you if it's a purchase, you would you would select purchase. If it's a just a page view, you would select page view. Whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. For me, it would be a lead, so I chose a lead. And you come down here and you give it a unique name. This way, you can remember when you start tracking, you know where it's coming from. And uh, come down here. You don't have to assign a for a value. You don't need a value. And for the count, you just keep it on one. Don't mess around with any of these, leave them alone. Conversion window, um, view through conversion window, include in conversions and attribute, attribute, attribution model. You just leave those alone. Uh, hit create and continue on mine. It's not gonna do it because I didn't, do it. I didn't fill in any of that stuff. You just grab your snippet. The global one, you would put it under um, your global um, snippet would go under settings. You would go, I'm trying to get out of this here. Okay, you would just go to the whatever I'm using, click funnels, it's the same thing for WordPress. You would just go out under, they have different um, plugins that you can use for WordPress. But I'm using ClickFunnels first. So, your global um, snippet, you would just go to your, open up your funnel, go to settings, wait for that to load, and you come down here and uh, and put it under your head tracking. Anything that you install under settings, that would be a funnel wide um, uh, tracking. Basically, it would track all your pages. Um, if you put anything in the body tracking, it would tra and as, long, as long as it's in the setting option, it would do it. It's a funnel wide. It would track everything in the funnel. Okay. Um, when you go to install your event snippet, and you, you were here on the second uh, page, that's what we want to check for whether the customer actually opted in and got to the second page. So, um, Anything you install under your um, tracking code in the page, it will be particularly for that page, and that's how you actually uh, do your tracking and your um, and your uh, conversion. That's how you get done. Um, that's how you know how well this particular um, uh, funnel is doing. I don't know why this page takes forever to load. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, oh, there you go. Finally, we're here. Basically, what you do for your event snippet, you would just come down here to track the tracking code and make sure you install it under your footer. Okay? And that's all you have to do. I hope uh, this video had helped you guys. If, um, uh, if you're not a, if you haven't, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe uh, button and um, give me some love, give me uh, some hearts, whatever, show me that you're um, actually learning from this. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment below. Thanks for uh, spending some time with me. And I do have, uh, I make money online doing affiliate marketing. So if you guys uh, are interested, uh, the link is in the description. Check it out. I, uh, I um, handpick these offers. So you'll definitely be happy with them. They're, they're the best out in the market. Thanks for, for watching YouTube and uh, good luck out there making money online. Talk to you soon.